Yo, what's going on? Shenaniganders here with Shiny Boy. We are heading to Maple Pinball to the Spring Spectacular in good old Shenanigander fashion. We can't just go straight to the tournament. We gotta go pick up a pinball machine on the way. First time Astro has seen daylight in a few years. What? Is this the first pinball machine going in your new car? All right. The Spring Spectacular is underway. Talking about how I tried to bow out yesterday because I was sucking so bad. I'm like, Teolas, can you remove me from the tournament? And he's like, no, if you do that, you don't get your Pinberg ticket chance. Oh, we got a pinball nerd in the house. Ball what, Jarvis what? Here. He's kind of taking over the what range. What up, Oh, shit. <laughs> pinball nerds in the house taking over. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, nice. Thanks, Thanks, yeah. This is No, he let me take it over. That's it. The clap. Banana nerds. We got the Maple Leafs No, just, Hardly okay, this watching. is how you make everyone hey, hate you. let's just stand in front. Yes. Let's go Boston! Yes. Bruins! Boston. Bruins! I swear it wasn't me. Bullshit. Third place from Pinball Shenanigan. Yeah. Mike Diamond, third place. Yeah. Pinburg draw is about to happen right here. Good luck. I hope somebody gets to go to Pinburg from here. That would be yeah. so cool. Can we scroll through that list one more time? No. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. No whammies. No whammies. Uh oh shit. Who's going to Pinburg? Here it is. Come on. Here it is. Pinburg. I'm Mike Dimas, and this is Pinball Shenanigans. Yo, what's going on, Shenaniganders? Here with Shiny Boy Shenanigander Extraordinaire, and we are heading to Maple Pinball to the Spring Spectacular, run by Jeff Teolis. There's going to be four tournaments this weekend. It's going to be crazy. 72 players locked in, and uh, you know, in good old Shenanigander fashion. We can't just go straight to the tournament. We gotta go pick up a pinball machine on the way. It is an old EM. They made 500 of them. It's called Gemini, and it looks pretty cool. It's got some cool art. It's got some inserts that say uh, Star Trek on it. Two inch flipper game, which isn't the most desirable, but uh, you know, I think the price is gonna be right. So we're gonna go check that out. But yeah, probably uh, record a little bit of the Spring Spectacular tournament this weekend. Uh, I just found out the Castlemans will be there, so I guess it will be live streamed, so that's pretty awesome. May have to jump in the commentary booth. But uh, you've been uh, practicing up, studying up all your games? No. <laughs> Neither have I. <laughs> we played there enough. Yeah, we practice we when we play there. We, are, we you know, it's kind of a home field advantage in a way. We, we know the games pretty well. Uh, a lot of people coming in from out of town, you know, they won't have that advantage, but there's so many good players, they don't need it. They just uh, can kick ass regardless, so it should be a fun weekend. I'll record some of the action along the way as usual, and uh, yeah, we'll see you over at the uh, Gemini Pinball Pickup. I'll try and document a little bit of that, because uh, why not? Get to the chopper. I feel like I said Gemini in the last video, but that's not what I'm buying. I don't even know what I'm buying half the time, apparently. It is Astro, okay? So that is the name of the game. Here we are, this is the Astro. I'm gonna take a look at this machine here. It looks pretty good. So uh, what was not working on it? Do you wanna, wanna demonstrate a ball for fun? Sometimes they only give you four balls instead of five. Oh, okay. Well, that's not a biggie. Yeah. Pop bumpers are popping. Yeah, they're, they're Chimes little, are chiming. They're a little weak. The flippers are flapping. It's interesting that it says Star Trek on the play field. I know, that's why I was, when I was looking it up, I kept Googling Star Trek and not finding anything. <laughs> yeah, like what is the tie in for that? It's just like. I don't, I don't know. Because this is what, I think 1971 or something like that. Yeah, we, we've had it since the mid 80s. Oh, okay. So, you've had it a long time. Yeah. Yeah, we thought it was a relic when we got it in, in, in 87. It was only a third of the way through its life. Yeah, right. Let's see, what does it look like inside? Oh, huh? uh, it's a little weird ball. That is not part of the pinball machine, I can tell you that much. <laughs> I've never noticed that before. 
Uh, and did you say you had like any manuals or paperwork no, to go I with it? Have. No, eh? It's not. Oh, I feel something. I feel something. Sometimes they're hiding underneath the uh, bottom board there, but I don't feel that. Huh. There's a couple extra instruction cards. Try and one hand of all here for fun. Oh, we got Shawnee on the left flipper. Split flipper action here. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> yeah, team play. Oh, it's got like a little waterfall thing on the right hand side. You want to get the green or red stars? The green stars? Okay. The green is the level of 2,000. Oh, okay. Start, start of the. Oh. Bumper bumper. I was trying shots. Oh, shots myself. All right, well, that's Astro. Pretty cool. All right, first time Astro has seen daylight in a few years. What? Is this the first pinball machine going in your new car? What? Divergenize this uh, Kashkai today with Astro. All right, there she is. Looks nice in the sunlight. All right, we managed to Jenga it all in there. We got the machine, plus we've got all of our stuff for the whole weekend. Suitcases and carry-on bags and additional coolers and this and that. But there it is, it's final in. Test. Let's go, yeah, here's for the final test. Smash! No, we're good. Oh, how do you like that sticker? All right, there it is. It's official. First pinball machine and Sean's new vehicle. First one. Yeah. Broken the seal. Now you're in trouble. All right, we made it to Toronto. Can you see the CN Tower? Let's see. I gotta try and zoom in here. There it is. Uh. It's the worst video ever, but there it is, CN Tower, we're here. We just got here, we just arrived at our hotel, and look who also just arrived. All right, the Spring Spectacular is underway. It is busy, great turnout, it's probably 72 players. As usual, just do a little tour of the action. I'm in queue for Iron Maiden right now. How'd you do, Matt? Not good, because his game was... Oh, actually, you got the same score as me, pretty much. So, yeah, not good. I'm going to have my revenge on that game. But it is uh, very hectic in here. There you go. Yo! What? Me? What? Where, where did Carlos go? Okay. Uh, I thought Carlos was ahead of me, so I thought I had some time, but I guess I'm up. <laughs> Birthday celebrations going on over there. Okay, I did play my game on Iron Maiden. It was one of the worst games I've ever played in my life. It was even worse than my 17 million prior. It was 11 million. Anyway, that's not the point of this little clip. This is just to do a tour around. A little mini tour around the facility. Show some of the games in the lineup. Show some of the players. We got the pinballers streaming the action live. We got Alan, what's up buddy? Oh, pinball profile shirt, very sexy. Here's the rig right here. Carson in the booth. Carter in the booth, not Carson. That's uh, Teolis' son. Yo, what's up, buddy? Very sexy. Very official. All right. So this is the uh, pump and dump section of the tournament. Very soon we'll be starting the um, Max Match Play Classics event. We got players from coast to coast. We got Johnny C or K from the uh, West Coast. We got Mr. Albert Agar from the East Coast. What's oh, I up? thought you were calling me because I keep like, forgetting. I'm <laughs> no, up. just wandering around as I do. <laughs> Front room just for uh, practice right now. Yeah, so packed house. This is what's happening this weekend. All, what's up, buddy? But yeah, that is the tour of what is going on 
and uh, I'll do an update or two throughout the weekend. But uh, before I get too invested into pumping and dumping and playing, especially with the other tournaments starting soon, I thought I'd at least do a little bit of a tour of the action. All right, so good luck everyone. We'll uh, see you on the next clip. Well, we have people here from BC. We have people here from coast to coast, really. Lots from Halifax, too, and I appreciate that. Uh, we also have some American friends, so thank you very much for people from Ohio and from Michigan. Am I missing another state? Those are the ones. Matter right? Those are the swing states for people. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank the Castlemans. This is the first time ever we are going to be streaming here. Hey, <laughs> Big thanks. You have no idea the hard work put in by the people here at Maple Pinball. That includes Doug Barrett, Noel Hooper, and Shane Jackson right here. Thank you. Alright, it is day two of the Spring Spectacular, and semifinals are happening right now. As you can see, Shiny Boy is in the mix against Savage and Gary and Chris. I'm not sure what's happening in the other group, but I figured it is time for an update. Yesterday was really busy and I didn't have much time to uh, do any updating, but let's go walk around. Oops, almost knocked over someone's thermos. Okay, I can actually talk a little bit louder now too that uh, we're in the main room here. So what happened to me? Oh, here's the other group. Let's take a quick peek. We got Castleman, Matt, Andy, and I think Derek is in this group here. So this is for the classics match play that took place yesterday. We had 69 players or so. The top 24 were to advance. After, it was 20 rounds of pinball, 20 games. After about the ninth game, I only had about four wins. So I was playing Dave Cowling, this guy right here, who was, uh, we were on um, Aladdin's Castle. I'll just kind of tour around the games in the meanwhile. So on ball one on Aladdin's Castle, he was blowing it up. And then he got an extra ball, which you're allowed to play any extra balls. So on his extra ball, he was blowing that up, and then during his extra ball, he got another extra ball. He's playing his first ball on Aladdin's castle for like 10 minutes. I have four wins. This is round nine or 10. I'm like doing the math, thinking, okay, this is just probably not gonna happen. So what I should do is probably just concede this game, bow out of the tournament so I can focus my attention and energies on the main event here at main pump and dump so during ball one i say to dave cowling hey i concede <laughs> and uh so he uh proceeds to like double roll the friggin game just for fun and uh i go to teolis and i say take me out of the tournament talking about how i tried to bow out yesterday because I was sucking so bad. I'm like, Teolis, can you remove me from the tournament? And he's like, no, if you do that, you don't get your Pinberg ticket chance. I'm like, oh, right, okay. So I better continue playing. And uh, somehow I managed to pull up my socks and uh, get into a position where I was tied and uh, had a little tiebreaker. So three of us played a game on Embryon. Where did Embryon go? It's over here. And um, the winner would advance and actually make the playoffs, the 24th spot. So Embryon is over here. I blew it up. I rolled it. I got like 1.3 million. And uh, so after trying to bail out of the tournament, I managed to squeak in in a tie break. So that final 24 playoff started this morning at 9 a.m. Oh, 
And then, oh my God, it gets worse. So I actually made it in the top 24, get to do the dance, yay, I'm very happy. Then we play Abracadabra, the first game in the bank there. I get a third, one point. Then we move on to Taxi, which uh, Andy's playing right now. And I was playing against Andy. He blew it up, which looks like he might be doing again right now. Yep, four million. And I got a zero. So, you know, one point going into game three. It's a three game set. Then we play Flight 2000. And um, I need a win to even have a chance. And sure enough, might be a little too late, a little too, little too late, but I blew it up and put myself in a tie break with Sean to advance to the next round. And he chose Cool Sharks. He had about four million and I'm player two. Cool Sharks is in this room. I'm not going to disturb them though. Actually, I am. Okay. Anyway, cool sharks. Some live streaming going on this weekend too. Check that out on the Pinballers. Actually, it's just Pinballers on Twitch. So here we go. Cool sharks. I'm familiar with the game. Like I said, Sean had about four million. I have about one million. I plunge the ball, I get the skill shot, I light the three million shot, the ball comes down to the in lane, all I gotta do is flip the effing ball to collect the three million. It is definitely very tilty, says Chris, he's right. So what do I try and do? No, I try and be skillful and trap the ball and then take a controlled shot at the three million. But in my attempt at trapping the ball, I just like <laughs> So in hind effing sight, ball come down in lane, shoot the effing three million shot for the win. I blew it. So I'm out of the tournament and I've been doing some pumping and dumping. Oh shit, I better go. Um, I'm probably up on rush if not already. Missed my opportunity. Oh, and it's gone. So now Dimas has a marker. It's going to be about 3 million more than the score he has with the, after the bonus. Oh, a little bit more. Times two, all right. 3-8. Collecting the rack. I think uh, on an eight ball game, because I, I missed what Sean Cash Should start at 2-5. Might even start at 3. Three hundred K for the best skill shot available. Oh, trick shots at three. Oh, oh no, Mike Dimas. It was there. You hit that shot one time. Yeah, it's trying to slow it down. He's trying to get control, but you hit that orbit. It's it's welcome to the second round. As it stands, though, Sean Burke is going through, and Mike Dimas is eliminated from the Spring Spectacular Classics tournaments. Okay, it is time for an update. It has been a while since the last one. We've been playing for 13 hours straight. That is right. Feet are sore, backs are sore, but it has been definitely fun. This is pump and dump action still going strong. This is happening all weekend long. Play as many games as you can, as you want, and your best nine scores count on 13 machines. I'm currently sitting in 14th place. Top 24 will move on to the finals tomorrow. And, uh, you know, I shouldn't bleed out. And if I want, I can try and do some more pumping and dumping and maybe uh, get top eight and get a buy some extra cash so that's always a thing and then as for the match play event that's going on simultaneously which is basically a pinberg style tournament except each bank of games is a bank of three instead of a bank of four 
and we are in uh, or about to start the very last round right boys how are your feet doing Dougie sore. <laughs> I can relate <laughs> Oh, we got the live streaming right here with uh, Sandy on Whirlwind. These guys uh, must be holding up the show here before the next round. They're playing so well. Well, looking at their scores, they're not actually crushing it. Last time the show was being held up by Whirlwind, it was Jack Tadman because he had like 28 million and he got the old shoulder tap. As in, you're playing too well and uh, you're holding up stuff, so. He had to stop playing. Um, so, like I said, round seven is coming up. And we got about close to 70 players in this event. And I'm currently sitting in seventh place. So I'm pretty happy with that. Again, top 24 advance for the match play event. And uh, it's looking pretty good for me because the seventh round is a bit of an exception. Instead of playing three games, we're only playing two games. And then you still get your, uh, check out, you still get your like max whoppers and all that. Check out John Cotton with the headlamp on. Whoa. Pulling an Andy Rosa. It's working for him though. He's doing well. But yeah, we got shenaniganders all over the place. We got pinballers. We got the Castlemans. There's a lot of great players here. A lot of regulars. We literally have players from coast to coast. Hey, what? Uh, screw these guys. Hey. <laughs> We got a lot of the Yag pinners from the West Coast. We got the Albert Agar pinball nerds from the East Coast. We got a few fellows from the uh, US of A, including Sean and Carlos, which I heard they actually got pulled over at the border. They are like, the border guy's like, hey, you guys want to just kind of like pull your car over to the side so we can search it and make sure uh, you guys are legit it's their first time coming to Canada the poor guys and uh, they got the old treatment at the border which held them up for about 30 minutes Jay McKay I'll get out of your way that were all rhymed how's mr. Shane Jackson doing it's 13 hours in and Haley thank you uh, well, 13 hours of pinball, but your shift has been probably like 15 hours. Yeah, the whole weekend, basically. <laughs> no, all week, too. And all week. Oh, yeah, preparations, of course. You know, there's a lot of that going on when you have a collection of 70 machines. It's hard to keep everything uh, 100%. So you've been working diligently. You've been doing a good job. Appreciate you as well. <laughs> Shiny boy. Crush it, bro. Jack's open. Okay, that's the update. One more round to go. Right, you degenerate? Yeah. Gwen, Noel, we got Julie. We got everybody here. Why aren't you here? Why are you watching from home? Get your butt over to Maple Pinball, come on. Does this not look like a friggin' blast? Like, check this out. That's a pretty cool shot. All right, I'm gonna get back to the action. Less and uh, yeah, try and make a couple playoffs. Here's your next update. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, we got a pinball nerd in the house. Ball what? Nervous, what? Sir. He's kind of taking over the range. Oh shit! <laughs> pinball nerds in the house taking over. Oh boy, the you're gonna get the maple here. nerd. Hold on, I'm gonna, I, I'm, here. I'm gonna entrust you with my camera. You can roam wherever you like, do whatever you want to do. <laughs> and they edit it all out, who knows. But so if you find me on the roof at 3 a.m., it's okay. <laughs> I've survived. Well, all let's right. do a tour. I've seen your tour. Okay, well, let's, and now we'll let's do, do the Albert Agar So Pinball first we'll start with tour. the getaway, a game that I rented from Mike. Hey, there you go. <laughs> what other games did you rent from me? Oh, my God. Uh, Indie. Indie. Yeah. Um, Walking, Walking Dead, Dead, which is over there, right there. 
no, behind you. you. Um, I should remember these. Ah, uh, yeah, it was, it was a long time ago. Well, I, okay, but I bought Meteor. That's right. Yeah, I yeah. bought, um, this, what was that, like Solar a, Ride was my first 12 one. pack. I don't expect you to remember all those. All right, well, let's go okay. through around. Okay, you want, me, you want me to just I don't even know crazy? what we're doing. We're just kind of going. Well, first of all, we're watching Joe Tervino beat Avengers. Uh, <laughs> Come on, Joe. And Derek here has one thing to say. Come to Yagpin, am I right? Come to Yagpin. <laughs> yeah, come to Yagpin. Better be there. Unless it's already sold this is, out. This area is already uh, a little bit full. All right. Should we promote the beast in Buffalo? The only thing better than a Canadian maple. Maple pinball. Oh, isn't that <laughs> nice? This is No. He let me take it over. That's it. It's a clap. We got a little bit of everybody in there. All right, all right, all Robert, right, all right. We'll keep we got, going. We got, the nerd. We got, we got, we got some hockey there. Nah, nah, nah. We got, we got Duncan down there. He's listening to crickets. Sean, Sean Russell has only one thing to say: buy this sweater meow. There you go. Right. right. <laughs> it's a one percent uh, of all the action. My late laser Lois, she's playing. We're not going to bug number ten in the world right now. Like Julie, Savage just snuck oh. by you. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Can we just can you just tell them how much you got on ball one of Mouse and Round? About twenty million or so. Wow, wow, just twenty million. Yeah, but how much did you get on Whirlwind? <laughs> Five point three, just to pass Albert. Ah. Five point one. I'm going home to the East Coast empty-handed due to this Savage right here. I didn't no, Savage. Kidding. What want, do you got to say, Green? Come on. Like, for a second game, so I just decided to, I calculated the bonus. So uh, I knew exactly what well, that was. That's right. Well. That's right. You perfectly did it then. Yeah, right. Uh, okay. <laughs> Wait, would you dare to even maybe take this outside eventually? Yeah, let's go outside. Oh my god. They got some, they got outside, some, some dirty before. smokers out there. Well, Vapors. Kind of Very exactly. legal here in Canada, though, right? Oh, look who. The cat dragon. Oh, here. how's those lace doing, bud? Oh, hey, I was waiting Whoa, for you. Oh, wings! Oh my food? God, I don't want to. I don't want to cut this short, but uh, you know, there's a little bit of wingies there. No, just hey, this watching. is how you make everyone hey, hate you. Let's just stand in front. Hey, let's go, Boston! Hey, Bruins! Boston. Bruins! Oh God! Oh, I chanted. Okay, no, 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 no live stream. No, we won't show. We won't show. Oh, no black terror heroin on the wait. shenanigander's channel. <laughs> It's legal in Canada. That's right. Oh, we're good. Yeah. How's everybody doing? It's right, Moxley. It's legal everywhere. In the space. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. Well, you're waving around. You're uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Puke with that. Uh, well, Jesus, there. don't give the drunk guy the freaking camera, man. That's okay. Get out of the way. They're gonna beat us up. Look at That's them. More nerds like down the there. Won. They can Take come back. They can uh, come back. Well, where's the wings at? Okay. Right. Where do you want me to go? All right. Next, I think you. I think it's time for you to eat your wings. All right. Thanks Take for uh, co-hosting, brothers. Y'all rock. Uh, Mike Dimas is my pinball mentor, so I'll represent. <laughs> it wasn't for him, I never would have got the pinball. So Love damn you. right, sweet. I swear it wasn't me. Bullshit. Yeah, oh, they called me on my bullshit. <laughs> All right, it is the final day of the Maple Pinball Spring Spectacular. We got qualifying in the main event going on till 2:30 today. And it is currently 11.30. We started the action about 9.30. And I had my first round. Let's, let's talk you through this briefly, if I can. Oh, people are playing right now. Dolly, Stranger Things, bow and arrow. That was the bank that I was just on. So the day started off pretty good. On Dolly, I'm playing Donna, Carter Castleman, and Brian Trenholm. And uh, I gotta find a. <laughs> yeah, buddy, I'll see you there. The top eight. Oh, I gave away my story. Okay, I take a uh, first place on uh, Dolly Parton. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. Then I proceed to take a friggin' uh, zero on Stranger Things. Like literally, plunge, drain, ball save, drain. Plunge, drain, ball save, drain, plunge, save. You know, three times in a row. I utilized all three ball saves, and all three ball saves screwed me in the right out lane. So I took a zero on that. Then I played bow and arrow. 
took a zero on that. I have four points. My ship is sunk. I'm pretty much done. Except for the fact that I tied with Brian. Carter took so many points away from us that Brian and I tied with four points. So we ended up on a tiebreaker. Uh, I got to pick the game. I picked white water, of course. And uh, had a pretty damn good game. I blew it up at like 600 million. So that means I'm going through to the final eight. It's kind of crazy. One of my best performances, I'd say, in a long time. Maybe ever. With this field, I mean, to even make the top 24 is, uh, you know, that's good enough. But to get a buy and then to advance, it's all just gravy from here. So, I'm just doing the dance, having fun now. That was kind of stressful though when Stranger Things was uh, just destroying me. I started to panic. <laughs> but I'm on the other side of that now. But yeah, so everybody's getting in their entries. That's your update for now. 366 or 68 for Julian Grand Prix. You're not wearing your Void and Re-Q shirt. <laughs> I should have worn mine today, damn it, I forgot. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do some more pumping and dumping. I'm around, I don't know, 12th or something in this. So if I uh, if I put up a good game, then I might be able to get a buy in the main event. Nick's not in the queue. So anyway, that's your update for now. In our final four for the match play event, in fourth place from Ottawa, Carter Castlehead. Hey, Carter. Place. From pinball shenanigans and YouTube videos and some probably dark Ooh. web too, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Mike Diamond, third place. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. nice going. Woohoo! In second place, but first for the distance traveled from BC, Sean Lynn. Congratulations. Ooh. Nice playing. Nice going. Good job, bro. And in first place, in the semifinals, I'm telling you because I was there, he was shitting his pants on Spider-Man. I hope he's changed, but he won it all in the main. Where is he? Jack Tabman. Anyway, congratulations. 400 bucks for Jack Tabman. Here he comes. There he is. Here he comes. Mr. Lorenzo. Pinberg draw is about to happen right here. There's the spinner wheel. Let's have a look. Big money, big money. Go Emmys. We're spinning the wheel. All right, here it is. Let's go. What size? Oh, this is for a t-shirt. Thank you, by the way, Andrew Harper from Halifax. I got all excited. I thought that was. Yeah, yeah, another t-shirt. Alright. What's it say on the t-shirt? Print How? Albert! Albert! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> nice shot. T-shirt from Pinball Adventures. Uh, Pinball Adventures t-shirt. I'll take that. Oh, Mike Dimas. Comes with this too. I want both. <laughs> <laughs> Signed by Christopher Franchi, the beast, a big tournament that's coming up. Uh, that's cool, our, that's uh, cool. I like it. Chris Moxley. Moxley. Poster. Tank Force right now. Ooh. Signed by Franchi. GTS. Mm. Uh, yeah, 3D. Retro. That's pretty cool. And? Sean Lind! This one, all of Francie's artwork here. Oh, that's cool. I'll take that one. McGoffin, it's going to you, buddy. It's going to you. 
<laughs> Donna! Donna! Donna wins in every raffle. I've got 50, 100, and 200, so this is Ooh, cash money. Oh, <laughs> whammy. Andy, Andy Lee. Lee. Yeah. Yeah. $100. <laughs> you can use it for Monopoly. Yeah. Monopoly money's worth more. <laughs> Hey! Maddie, yeah, hundred oh, bucks. There you go. You guys each won something. How sweet is that? Before we do the two hundred dollar one, a translate signed by uh, Dwight Sullivan. Need the extra man. Translate. Dwight Sullivan, man. Hey! Yeah. All right. Look at that. Be on marketplace tonight. Two hours. All right, two hundred bucks. <laughs> two bucks. Oh, diamonds back to back. What? Two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred. Back to back. Jay McKay. Big money. You have two seconds to collect. One, <laughs> two, let's spin it again. Oh, 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 he's right there. <laughs> there we go, Jason. Okay, I'm going to explain how Pinberg works here. This is for the Pinberg ticket. You will have seven days to decide. You cannot sell, whoever the name is, is the name I give Doug Polk. It's a condition of us getting this wonderful Pinberg satellite. Once again, thank you to Maple Pinball, to Shane, to Noel, to Doug. <laughs> That ticket costs $900 for us to get uh, because you, you're, it's a donation to, to Pinburn to keep that going. So uh, $150 US. The event is in July 25th to 27th. There's only 144 players. This is a hot ticket. If you can go, great. You get to go. If you can't go, you let me know and Pinburg will issue you $350. Okay? I hope somebody, I, I mean, good luck. I hope somebody gets to go to Pinburg from here. That would be so cool. Can we scroll through that list one more time? No. <laughs> Good luck. No whammies. Uh oh, shit. This Who's going to Here it is. Come on. Here it is. Pinberg. I'm going to Pinberg. Yes. That just happened. Woohoo. All right. Oh, shit. Rig. Yeah, yeah, buddy. All right, uh, the, I give you fifty bucks for it. The auction starts hey, now. Guys, we're in a row. All right, guys. Holy crap! What a weekend. That was amazing. I did the math. We played thirty hours of pinball, but you know it was a little sore on the feet, but it was it was well worth it. I mean, you can only do one of those maybe once a month. But yeah, three tournaments, I managed to qualify in all three of them. I took third in the one. So that might be my best showing in my entire pinball career because there were 70 players and so many good players. Some of the top players in the world were there. Probably all the best players in Ontario. So I won about 385 bucks cash in my tournaments. Uh, I'm sure I spent more than that, but that definitely uh, doesn't hurt. So in the raffle, I want to translate, add some uh, icing to the cake, and then of course, I want a friggin' ticket to Pinburg. That is friggin' sweet. I mean, I don't really care about the value, but it's 350 US dollars if I were to have tried to buy one, which I did and failed. So not only am I, am I going to Pinburg, I don't have to pay for the ticket. I won it in the raffle. How freaking sweet was that? Also picked up a pinball machine along the way. What a what a crazy weekend it was. So, you know, in a month, we're gonna do it all again. We're going to Manitoba and uh, we will see you there.